Okay, guys. Here again. All right. This one is keeping sourdough simple and adding it to your daily life. If you've never seen a beautiful round loaf of bread etched with a clean, with a design rivaling the beauty and detail of Van Gogh, of a Van Gogh painting, yeah. excuse me, then you, then did you even get on Instagram after March 2020? Sourdough has been all the rage for a few years now, but you may still be intimidated about how to actually use it in your own kitchen. Do you need fancy tools? like baskets and razors and what's with hydration percentages and using a scale to measure all the ingredients. To muddy the waters a little more, everybody and their brother has their own way of making sourdough. When I started baking with sourdough over 11 years ago, things were a bit simpler. Need water, flour, salt, and starter, and then rise and bake. I'm hoping to break it down for you to make it simple so that you can enjoy the taste and health benefits on the regular in your own home. No... No banneton baskets required. Sourdough for more than just bread? Though I like a sourdough bowl as much as the next person, bread is not the thing I found my, find myself using my starter for the most often. Pancakes, pizza crust, flatbread, cinnamon rolls, bag, bagels, and even my one-pot wonder sourdough skillets are in the regular rotation around here. I like I like to get... Getting ahead of myself. I like to keep a gallon-sized glass jar or at least half full of starters at all times so that I have plenty on hand for no-weight recipes. Okay. And there's that. What are no-weight recipes? With bread, bagels, and rolls, you need to get your dough started the day before you actually want to bake. No-weight recipes allow you to pull fermented starters straight from the jar and use it in recipes instantly. This means that keeping plenty of starter on hand means you are 30 minutes away from a gut-healthy healthy sourdough meal. The real beauty of these quick and easy staples is that the starter doesn't need to be freshly fed. In fact, you could actually use a starter that has been sitting in the refrigerator for a week. For busy folks who sometimes fail to plan ahead, this can be a meal plan game changer. Oh! And that was it for that one. That's a real small one. So I might go ahead and just upload this one instead of uh, having her put the intro on this one since this one's really short. Urgh. One of the bravest braves that will let you want to contact sacrifice their own infantry at home. Okay, we have a few short videos here that I'll just go ahead and upload. Smart. And if any of you are wondering, you know, if you're just running across our channel and wondering who we are, we are Faith First Farm and Homestead. We have, we moved down here from Michigan a little over a year and a half ago now. We have 5.41 acres down here in Oklahoma. We did have 12.53, but we down, I want to say we downgraded. We changed location because getting up to where the 12.53 acres was was pretty difficult. The roads up there are not easy to get around on, and I didn't want to have to make vehicle repairs all the time. Couldn't afford it, you know. When I get a vehicle, I, you know, need to make sure that it's going to be in good working condition. So, I can't have frames breaking or uh, the bumps and stuff tearing apart things on the vehicle. So, anyway, so we changed location which we're going to be moving out onto our property hopefully in October. That's what we want to be able to do. That's what we need to be able to do, actually. Anyway. Uh, sorry, I have flea bites to itch. We have a dog and a cat, and it's just really hard to keep them. Oops. 
Sorry, I'm zoning out. Anyway. Yeah. But our goal is to move on to the property this fall. I mean, like I said, we kind of have to because of situations at hand right now. Uh, and over the winter, we're going to be, you know, building our raised garden beds, that kind of thing. I'm going to try to have some plants of things growing in the house during the winter. Try. We need a wood stove. And we're going to uh, we're going to be getting our cabin shed cabin from uh, one of the I do believe it's Ron's Building and Sheds, I think. I don't know. One of those places like that around here. We're going to be getting our residence from there, our cabin, per se. And, you know, that we're going to make it into our home. And, you know, we're throwing around a few ideas on things and I haven't really made a video on exactly what all the changes are I, I have but I haven't so anyway but we're going to be building our own our raised garden beds and growing our food our goal is to be completely self-sufficient we're gonna have chickens and we want we're planning on having ducks and geese and definitely quail for business and food. Rabbits for business. Chickens definitely for food. Eggs, obviously. Meat chickens. I'm definitely going to look into having feeder pigs that we can raise for the season. And then have butchered in the fall. And, you know, that'll give us some meat over the, you know into the winter months anyway so we'll have our gardens and we're going to be planting a small fruit orchard with fruit bushes fruit trees that kind of thing we'll have strawberries and you know our goal is just to be very self-sufficient and just to get out of the rat race you know so anyway that's kind of in a nutshell what we are and what our goals are and you know, plus I'm planning on building up a small community. Um, I'm working on creating an online presence for Faith First Farm and Homestead. I'm working on making an Etsy store. We are going to have glasses with our Faith First logo on it. T-shirts. I can do jackets and even cutting boards and... I do paintings. There's just going to be a whole lot of things that's going to be included in the store. And, you know, just just a whole bunch of different things. So, you know, we have a lot going on and I'm working on a lot and trying to get a lot, a lot of things going. And But anyway, so that's Faith First in a nutshell. And I will go ahead and get off from here. And I'll just upload this one since it's not very long. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.